Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. On today's video, we are going to fix the nasty ABS ASC light that I have on my dash by simply changing the ASC actuator cable on the throttle ASC ABS, whatever you want to call it, throttle body here. Yes, this cable right here. Let's go ahead and change it really quickly. This is the cable that we are going to fix here. As you can see here, normally this cable on the actuator should not be, you know, the actuator itself should not be flimsy and plain like that. Now, if you check carefully, you will see that I already attached it. And that's when I was troubleshooting to try to see what, what exactly was causing the issue on my car. Now, as you can see here, normally this is supposed to be static like that, not moving, so that whenever the engine is moving this, this right here is supposed to pull the cable but what is happening here is that because it's flimsy sometimes when it's trying to pull the cable here to either open or close the throttle it doesn't happen now after I actually attach this little lace right here I saw that every now and then the light will go away and come back so this is exactly what helped me point out that this was the problem now I didn't just come to this conclusion before coming to this conclusion I actually checked the relay here I checked the fuse and I was actually ready to even check the ABS sensor on each wheel just to figure out if those are the issues. But then when I was doing my research, I found out that this is also something that you have to check. So when I came and checked, I found out that this was loose and then I decided to replace it. Before replacing, I went ahead and tied it up, kind of like to see if this is going to help at all. And it did help because every now and then the light will go and then come back. So I believe that once I replace this cable, everything will be set. That's exactly what we are going to do right now. To easily remove this, what we need to do is we need to remove this little assembly right here because that is going to give me access to the 10 millimeter bolt that are in here, like this one right here and this one right here. Now, once those are free, I should be able to pull this cable by removing it from there, then removing it, everything, and then the actuator and the cable is going to come off. But because I need a little bit of access, I want to remove this just so that I have access to remove this assembly without, you know, causing any type of issues on this area. So I'm going to have to go ahead now and unclip this. As you can see, this little clip right here. It's three of them, one here, one here, and one there. I need to unclip that using a flathead screwdriver. That's going to free this assembly a little bit. And from there, I will go ahead and use a 10 millimeter, remove this one screw right there. And then this one bolt I meant to say, and this one bolt right there. Once I remove those, then I can free this right here and the job will be good. Then I will have the actuator out and just replace the cable. Now, this is a new cable that I got from FCP Euro, you know, and then that's exactly what I'm going to install right there. As you can see, this is the actuator and this is the cable that we are trying to replace. You see here, it's a uh, very flimsy looking weird. Now, the way you actually operate is pretty simple. Now, to remove that cable here from the ABS actuator body, you simply pull just like this, then use a screwdriver to push the little front part that is here out. After that is out, you will be able to remove it from this hole because this is where it sits. And then from there, you pull this part that is, you know, that is removed already and wiggle the actuator out. These are pretty much the two screws where the actuator will sit. Now let's go ahead and open the actuator and then replace the cable. So to open the actuator, you have this tab right here. One, two, we will open it. And after we open it, I'm going to show you what's happening. Since I don't have a table, I have to improvise this so I can show you exactly how I am removing this. So as I mentioned earlier, you have this little tab right here. So what you do is take a screwdriver, you know, just gently push it like that and it's going to open it now when it opens it you can see here on the inside that you have the cable going all the way here now the idea is that we're going to pull here and then remove this cable and this whole cable assembly is going to go out and we'll replace it by the new one now remember that it goes this way so when we put it, it the cable has to look exactly like this now 
when you see the new cable here pretty much it's going to be like this where this part of the new cable is going to be inside and this portion right here of the new cable is going to be on the top this is the portion that goes to the actual uh, ABS uh, throttle body so let's go ahead and get moving here so first thing we want to do is pull this area so if you pull this a little bit there you go it is out so you can see here it has like a little ring here but i didn't really care about damaging this cable because i'm going to you know remove this now usually to remove this cable type of cable you have to pull like this when you pull and it has no tension you can easily push it out like that as you can see now this tight space but it is out and using a screwdriver i should be able to free it out just like that now i just remove this piece from the hole and the whole assembly is out now i have to just go ahead and put it back this is a new cable again you can put this on the side for now remember that it has to be this way so i have to take all this tension on this cable have it on this end just like that then feed this little piece inside here and pretty much the idea is that we want to have this one seated exactly how that one was in the past so we have to just wiggle it a little, little bit it's not going to be easy it's going to take a little bit of time and patience but eventually it's going to go in now when it's like this you can use your little screw driver flathead to kind of like guide it inside the hole almost there and there you go Oop, almost there oh well i'm making a little mistake because the cable has to, actually has to be in here so what i have to do is just push the cable a little bit inside just like that pull the cable like that oh i okay, made a mistake but everything is bad so i think the best way is to just have the cable from the beginning in there and then kind of just guide this inside not easy again like i said require a lot of patience and you have to do this very gently there you go as you can see it's all the way in there now now the next thing we want to do is pretty much pull the cable this cable here from the top just so that we can push this in the hole here just like that and once it's, it's in there we pull a little more we now push this all the way in and then once it's seated like that that's it we close this little housing that's it now we go ahead and install this and then put this on the actual uh, actuator that piece that moves so I'm not going to show how I'm putting this, it's pretty simple, once you put it, this is on the bottom, you screw from the top here, the bracket has to be on the top because it's securing this way. So let's go ahead and do that right now on the car. After you mount the actuator, it's going to look like this, make sure that the piece that is going up is on this side right here. So it mounts like that, and this is the plug that goes on top, so once I install this in here, I'm going to go ahead and install that piece then go ahead and test it that's exactly it's going to complete the job now to mount this piece pretty much you again like i say you put the cable trying to do this with one hand but it's not really easy but you put the cable in here literally and you push this thing this way and it's supposed to clip and there you go I think I did it well align and clip As you can see there's a little direction that you have to follow this little thing like a little nipple needs to go on that bigger hole over there and then you push it there you go so as you can see it does not move then we go ahead and have to put this now inside here and then adjust everything yep that's exactly what um I'm going to do now so once I'm going to mount this so to mount this you pretty much you pull it this way 
it's something that you have to do with you when you pull this way you put the cable that little uh, nipple thing inside the hole and the cable will align here and then you adjust the cable by turning this right here this is what give or take the cable now you have to adjust so that the tension is good enough so that it's not pulling but it is resting properly I went ahead and installed the cable as I mentioned right here but now what we have to do is we have to adjust normally when this pull lever thing is in this position all the way like this that means the on inside the throttle the valve is kind of closed now when it's totally open the valve is open by default it has to be open so that you can get air inside the engine but i feel like right here i don't know if it's the fully open position so what i want to do is turn this wheel a little bit and see if it is moving towards that direction if it moves toward that direction then i want to have it so that the tension here is good enough so that um, when the actual ABS wants to kick in, it just move this way. So let's go ahead and try to see. So when I turn it, you can see that it's still going on the back a little bit. So that means it wasn't totally open. Now it's stopped moving and I can see that now if I pull this way, it's moving gently a little bit. So I think I should just leave it about here. Yep. So. I think this is a good tension for this now I'll go ahead and turn on the car and normally as a test you will see that when you turn on the car this is going to move and this is exactly what is giving that ABS as soon as I turn on the car because this is moving and if this cable is not stable like the way it is right now it's not going to work so let's go ahead and test that really quick <laughs> As you can see, you saw that it moved and on the inside of the engine, I have no check engine light anymore. The check engine light is gone, as you can see here. So this is it, it fixed it. Let me go ahead and turn off the engine because I am inside of the house and I should not have this smoke. All right guys, you saw it took me about 15 to 20 minutes to fix it because I had to film, but it was pretty simple. It's an easy job, but it fixed my ABS issue. Now when I drive, uh, hopefully any more ABS situation is not going to happen. Now, if you have ABS on your car, a ASC and uh, ABS light on both at the same time, chances are it could be that. It could be a relay that is bad, it could be a fuse, it could be also the ABS sensor on the wheel. So those are the areas that you have to check. Now, if you check all of those and it doesn't really work, I would suggest that you go ahead on the forum and see if, even if you have any code on using a code reader just to make sure that you don't have any code after you check the OBD2 or this OBD1 port right here. All right, guys, this is it. Um, also, one point I want to mention is that I've done an oil change already on the car because I wanted to kind of go ahead and drive the car. So all this week I have been driving this car just to kind of feel it, to see exactly how it is to drive this specific car, get to know it a little bit because I want to do a quick review of the car and I had to experience it before I can show you guys. So yeah, so that video is coming up, so keep it up. If you haven't subscribed, make sure that you do because on this channel, again, I have this car, I have that car, I have the Mini Cooper. And yeah, so subscribe, like, and make sure that you put any comment about any issue that you may have with your car. And if I have any idea of what you can do to troubleshoot that, I will definitely let you know. Again, stay safe and see you on the next video.